Did you see Barack Hussein Obama last night? Take little shots. He was taking shots at your president. And so was Michelle. You know, they always say, sure, please stick to policy. Don't get personal. And yet they're getting personal all night long, these people. Do I still have to stick to policy? Well, it wasn't the second night of the convention. Just as much fun as the first one. A lot of great folks speaking and, of course, capped off by the Obamas, who were both incredible. Incredible speeches. Um, it's hard to say who was better. They both were so amazing. But what was funny is they both just took it to, to Donald Trump. No more of the Mr. and Mrs. Nice Guy, all the garbage he said about them over the years, the birth certificate bullshit with uh, Barack Obama, the Barack Hussein Obama that he loved to say all the time. So guess what? Last night, um, well, let's just call it the revenge of Barack. I call this first part um, a whiny, pathetic loser. Let's watch and see what he had to say about Donnie. Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances that, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing to Kamala. <laughs> yes, um, uh, the golden escalator when he came down and told us that uh, all Mexicans are rapists and uh, other genius uh, meanderings from that dementia-filled mind that we've now been just inundated with for eight years, ten years now, uh, just can't get rid of. Kicked his ass out of the White House, and he still didn't go away. But you know what? We, Obama talks about that, too. Hopefully we will make him go away. But in the second part, it's got to be driving Donnie crazy, because I don't know how else to put this. The second part was... Probably, well, it was a dick joke. <laughs> the pre former president of the United States ripped Donald Trump apart, referred to his crowd sizes, and yeah, he, he, he made a dick joke. Watch. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. <laughs> it It just goes on and on. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the part uh, I was sort of referring to earlier, which is how we've been stuck with just this whiny, dramatic loser for eight years, complaining about everything, fighting with everyone. You know, 40 of his 44 cabinet uh, officials have not endorsed him. The former vice president didn't. I mean, granted, he tried to have him killed. So that's a pretty good reason, uh, but I mean, all sorts of, of Republicans have broken away. A bunch of them have spoken at the Democratic Convention. The Cheney family. That's one of the most Republican families in the country. It's just, it's always drama. It's always him. Who's he taking money from? Is it 10 million from Egypt this week? Is it money from China? Does he have a bank account there next week? What's Vladimir Putin giving him? So it was great to actually see Obama give us a great metaphor for how dangerous he is and how all the noise and all the chaos and everything else leads to endangering America and endangering the world here. Watch. The other day I heard someone compare Trump to the neighbor who keeps running his leaf blower outside your window every minute of every day. <laughs> Jesus Christ, great. Now, from a neighbor, that's exhausting. From a president, it's just dangerous. That's right, dangerous. There's really no other way to put it. When you're willing to ditch your allies, undermine Ukraine, when you're willing to take bribes from foreign countries, allegedly. We know we tried to bribe a porn star, so it's really not a huge step, considering those rides that Vlad Putin took on a horse with his shirt off. Maybe he was aspiring to the same career. In any case, uh, Barack Obama reminded us why he was a man of grace and class and yet 
he went there and he did it perfectly last night and Donnie is probably crying into his cheese puffs while watching reruns of Fox and Friends this morning. It's good stuff.